Hi, my name is Pavan Kumar. I am the director of the film Lucia and uh, I learned about filmmaking by watching films with the director's commentary switched on on original DVDs and uh, I've always felt that I should make a film and I should put in a director's commentary too and I'm glad that my second film Lucia is able to give me that opportunity. So this is the first crowdfunded Kannada film. We raised about uh, 50 lakh in our first funding uh, on Facebook. We started the campaign in Feb 2012. I started writing this film in 2011 by I think around November. And uh, I felt this film has to be done through crowdfunding because it's a very difficult script for any uh, producer to, uh, to kind of uh, invest on it. And the crowdfunding idea really helped do this film the way it is. So these are the sponsors and uh, people who gave us a lot of freebies and a little bit of money to complete the film. So I thank all of them. Every bit of their involvement has un only made the film better. And uh, the song that you're hearing in the background is written by Kanakadasa and uh, uh, it was written in 1280. I didn't write the script keeping the song in mind. My dad, who who's read a lot in Canada, heard the script and he said that Kanakadasa had written this long back and he gave me the poetry. And once I read it, I felt it has a direct connect to the content of the film. And I thought this could be a tribute to what he had uh, written. So we, we used it as a part of the credits. And uh, I'd like to thank uh, Technicolor because without the free tool that they provide called CineStyle, which we installed in our cameras, we wouldn't have been able to shoot the film the way it appears. The film premiered at the London Indian Film Festival uh, on July 20th, and that was our first public show. This logo was done very interestingly. A lot of people you see there are actually the ones who gave us the money. Uh, they are producers, co-producers, and uh, I think this is the first film that would be that was made as audience films uh, maybe in India and uh, Home Talkies is our online movie watching theater where you can log in and watch the movie so very soon we'll be starting the film and uh, this Chinese quote has everything that the film is trying to tell you can google about it and read more about it so this is the first scene of the film and this is how I actually had thought of uh, starting when I wrote the script and that Sanjay this this is his first film as a as an actor. He's a theater actor and I think he did a great job on his first film. Uh, our concern was whether uh, Satish, who's lying there on the bed, will be recognized by the audience uh, because his face is half covered. But I thought that actually um, creates the confusion that, that was required for the audience. And um, this this particular scene is shot in my cousin's office. He's a lawyer, and uh, and we absolutely used no lighting. We just had to go in, and uh, he had some tube lights, so we just switched those on and we shot it. And my DOP Siddharth had lots of doubts about it, but when the final output was seen, people felt that the, that was the best lit scene. <laughs> and that's Krishna. This is his first film as well as a for the as an actor. He's a veteran theater actor, and uh, I'm glad that he he came forward to do this. This particular shot was done using a GoPro Hero 2 and I think this was the first time we used the GoPro to shoot anything in the film, in, in our film. And those two guys are actually not talking. Uh, you know, they we, we put the GoPro and told them to just go up the lift and I hadn't written any dialogue so they're just talking something and we at the dubbing studio gave them the lines. The scene was particularly written to uh, and it was supposed to happen at a police commissioner's office but when I looked at the production design as to how the office would look, I felt it's it's very cliche. The, 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 usually the commissioner is shown in that sort of a costume and uh, and the same kind of conversation happens. So we said, why, why should cops meet at the office all the time? They could be meeting elsewhere. They could be meeting in a friend's bar in the morning when it's shut. So uh, that's how we found this place. And I think the place also made it look extremely good. The whole uh, white to it, it's at Mayflower in Bangalore. And... Um, uh, uh, so nothing much about the scene it's, uh, it was communicating or giving more hints as to where the film is going in this particular pan shot do observe what you see at the at, as the shot ends right next to him you will see Lucia Pills which was sort of a small hint for repeat viewers to see if, if the whole film is his dream <laughs> you know it could be the whole film could be Prashant's dream Prashant uh, the guy you are seeing there and that's um, that's Purna Chandra. He's from Mysore, and I think this is his first feature film as an actor as well. And this entire set was put in a factory, and I think our art department did a great job in doing this. Uh, I really hate that bulb shaking over there. Um, we we didn't know how to <laughs> how to erase that or solve that.
generally when i wrote the script in the beginning no one was supportive of these scenes they felt that uh, it it confuses the audience it makes them wonder where is it all going because you see the protagonist is is missing in all of these scenes but i always felt that the, the if the if the film had to have the thriller aspect to it then at the beginning it should have, it should leave the audience with a lot of questions and um, that's how these scenes were made according to my original script the the place had to be burned down but Uh, as you know we didn't have the budgets to burn that burn down that place so we just cut it at at the point when he was holding the the fire um this is something that i would say this kind of a cut pattern are these both the events happening at the same time i don't think so uh, this guy is on his own looking at the files and this guy is on his own you know trying to elope so that he is not caught and uh, the way it's cut it makes you feel as though these incidents are happening parallelly and yes i mean uh, that's the general uh, um generally how filmmaking has taught us over years that a parallel cut means two parallel events happening at the same time but i learned uh, from christopher nolan's films wherein he cuts different events happening at different times together and it still communicates pretty well so i would say some a cut like this i learned from his movies and and uh, i always wanted to to see how it works when you cut two different events happening at two different times and yet they they culminate to to say the same thing <laughs> and uh, we we shot this all in a day the whole chase sequence and there's absolutely no set no unit it was just these actors and a couple of lenses in camera and uh, we shot the whole thing and and put put it together on the editing table and i think it came out pretty pretty nice everything that you're seeing there as the sets was not sets they're all real locations and this is the first clue in the film which uh, gives away the ending uh, when you see it the second time you will understand what it means um, actually and you will probably appreciate why the scene was actually kept like this wherein what they're speaking is 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 you know told to the audience otherwise it's all over music uh, that was my first clue to the audience saying that look i have actually revealed the ending to you um, and uh, the chase sequence and i think this is a small build up towards the pill because we titled the film as lucia so which meant that you know lucia the pill had to have a strong presence in the in the whole uh, film and the way it's it's brought out to the audience hello <clears throat> The next sequence is uh, particularly interesting for me the whole fight sequence that's coming over now it's uh, it was uh, there was no fight coordinator there was absolutely nothing we just used the gopro again uh, the gopro was tied up to the actor's head we repeated the whole sequence twice so once the the gopro was tied on the cop's head and the second time it was tied on the and ravi's uh, this guy's head so we asked them to repeat the same action and all of us went out of the room so they would hit each other for about 5 minutes and they repeated the same process he would bring in the chair so if you see when it cuts in it looks like uh, they, it happened together but it's two different takes and after 5 minutes we, we we all would be standing outside and we could hear uh, uh, purna chandra the ravi character shouting and howling and once it ends we would go inside and we would look at the whole whole shot this is actually a shot in a factory it's a pipe factory that we used uh, uh, to shoot the sequence we used everything that they had uh, and created this very abstract place or a underground kind of place where cops would probably you know hide and beat up people and investigate um I really like the way this was lit uh, like that red light that Siddharth put over there and I think it gave a nice depth to the whole sequence and it also makes you I I love this shot uh, because it kind of involves all the four characters at a at a low angle uh, point of view I think uh, mm, uh, this is my favorite actually one of my favorite shots which defines Lucia as a film or or the kind of genre it it was trying to be idu thumba soft sir en bekadru maatadutte औषधि तक्रे वे कनस मेगा सीरियल तर पतने गोता हरी कथन बरली मेगा सीरियल बरली बंद्रे सा दिन रात्रि मलगवल तक बीदी कुल गई तंग ऐन हेसू 